Hello guys, this final episode of this series, the episode you've all been waiting for, special effects. Right guys, in this episode of Video Editing for Beginners, I'm Dave from TBR Creators. If you've not been here before, check out our channel for lots of great videos to get value from our content. Now, on this awesome episode, I want to show you some, some cool video effects. You know, not I'm not going to go full-blown lasers or anything like that, but I just want to show you some cool things that you can do on, on one of your program on your computer or on your app on your phone, and all these sort of things you should be able to do. So like color correction, make it look blurred, you know, all this sort of stuff thing, like shadows. So let's, let's, let's dive in. Right, so say we want a cool clip of me. This was the music one we used before. Um, hmm, what can we do with that? So let's, let's get a bit of me going. Today, I'm gonna give you two tips on. Right, so this one, do do do. Right, let's pull this over here. Right, what cool effects can you do? Now obviously, you've probably seen before, uh, on a lot of programs you can add like, um, sort of text things. You know, the simple things, you might wanna add text, which isn't really, a, you're thinking, oh, that's not cool. But you know, on a lot of programs you'll get like, you know, hello all, and you can get these cool little graphics on quite a lot of programs now. And you know, it just sort of fades in, as you can see, I'm like, Today, I'm gonna give you two tips on you know, and it's quite cool. It looks like you're looking at some sort of news round, that sort of thing. But I know you're thinking that that's not cool. So what, what I'm thinking now, if you make this is more if you want to make you know a film or make it look a bit more fancy, um, stuff like that. So what I'd highly recommend, uh, bum, 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 is going into the color palette of the clip. And what's really cool, actually, this is just, you know a simple um, color correction. Um, used to its best. So say like I'm in, you know, I'm in a dark forest and stuff like that. You might want to make it like, you know, um, like in films, you know, you can make it like red. Today, I'm going to give you two tips on. So you know, go, going along with what we learned about audio so already, we can sort of go right. I want to add in some some cool audio. Uh, let's let's change that. I never looked at this before, but it's all part of the effects. So say we want to add in some. Some proper effects, make it long, sort of thing. Apply that. You know, so you've added that in, so it's in dark cave, and then going back to the color correction. You know, um, you can sort of do this by you know making it really dark, or if you want a nice little purple color or blue. You know, it, it's really cool sort of stuff you can do. And uh, what's really cool actually on on you know more cool programs you can add in like mini after effects and um, you can do this so say for example now um, I'm gonna apply that so it looks like I'm raining <laughs> so I don't know if, if you're doing a, a shot of say I don't know somebody walking down the street in like a cartoony form you want them to sort of add that um, yeah, perhaps you might not want that um, one I quite like, uh, there you go, that looks quite cool, so you can actually make it look like it's rain, you know. So you could literally just have a shot of somebody, you know, walking through a ward or down a road and it's raining. Um, you could uh, quite easily download or record yourself some sounds of, say, thunder and lightning. You could have that flash in the background, so it's like, while it's raining and talking in. You know, but and that color correction again. So going back to that color correction. So if you're getting value from this video and you're enjoying the content, please give us a like and a share and subscribe to this channel. Um, you know, we might want to make that look a bit icy, um, so it's sort of dark. That looks that looks really well with the rain. That sort of thing. Um, if we if we don't want the rain, and uh, we're just going to undo that just to show you. Uh, because there's, there's so many things you can do. And, and this is playing around. You, you might want to look at what little gadgets you can do. Um, let's see what these do. So you can add in little transition fades. So as you can see, see what this does. 
you know, sort of blurs in. And I personally would say that it depends on what you're using it for. So say, for example, I don't know, um, again, we wanted uh, myself in some sort of dark cave. Um, in my old Titan films, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's dark powers or whatever. So I'd make it, like, you know, really red. And I'll be wearing a hoodie and it just sort of, sort of sets the scene. You could put some like thunder and lightning in the background, which you can just, you know, take from some sort of sound effects or like say record yourself. I mean, it's always thunder and lightning at some point. Um, but you can just download that quite easily from the um, sound effects library over on, uh, you know, YouTube and stuff like that. And then you can put that in, have thunder and lightning going on. So if we had this in. Another thing I like actually is if you go back to the fillers again. Uh, as well and a lot of apps on your phone now have a little cool effects that you can use which is really cool now an effect I like to use sometimes and I've used it just to break up my videos just to make them a bit more creative I've added in this cool mist so you know I've made the color correction made it red so it's like it's an evil character you know if you're making a film and then you add in this like natural fog and I, I would get rid of the moves that comes with that effect just because I don't need that um, so say for example, we, you know, we just we just get rid of that. So we just bring that in. We've got this like mist, so it's got that sleepy hollow feel, you know, like headless horseman. And you know, it, it's it's really cool to add that to, you know, that really cool. So you can see what we can do. So if you're making your own little film, I don't know you got like some like make maybe making a horror or stuff like that, and you can add shadows. Um, I don't know if you're doing something silly. Uh, if you go to this clip, say we could add we could add some fireworks, which is really cool. We're like, way look, he's done it! He's just achieved. So, for example, I've literally just thought this now. When I eventually get to 200 subscribers, I could be like, yeah, we done it! Way fireworks! And I'll probably forget that by the time I come to it. But you get the idea. So that'd be really cool. Um, and that's the sort of thing you can do. Um, I did have snow somewhere. Let's see if we can find another clip to play with. Um, which is really cool. So what you could do here, say, so say we got snow here. I really like this effect. Let's just get rid of the sound a minute because we don't really care what I'm saying at this particular moment in time. So see, you've got this really nice scene of snow. It's sort of coming down. And what you could do here, um, actually, you know, you could literally just film outside. Maybe it's a dual day. It didn't even have to be snowing. You could film yourself outside, you know, walking through a field, um, you know, and maybe it's just a a dual day, so think about the lighting and that. And then what you could do with that, just to reinforce that, you could just go into your color correction and just think, well, what's snow? You know, it's like um, whitey blue. So let's see if we can find that. Uh, that's normal, that's green, that's blue, that's lighter. And look, so I've made it a light blue, and straight away it just it just goes better with the snow. Do you see what I've done that? And this is the sort of thing I learned from my days on the theatre. So depending on setting the scene, you know, if you got you know angry and lava, you maybe want red. You know, if you want it to be I don't know whatever dark blues. So obviously snow is more sort of you know whitey bluey colours. So already that looks better. And if that was filmed outside. You know, you just add that little colour correction. It would probably just help to set the scene. People wouldn't even think otherwise and think, oh, cool, you know. Um, and, you know, obviously if it does snow, you can film in the snow as well. I've done that as well. But, it's you know, just, just little things you can do um, to be creative. Um, little cool effects I like to use sometimes is a camera zoom in. So, going on your camera zoom. Obviously, you can do this on your camera, but sometimes it's easier. And I'll, I'll just sort of... I'll do a slow zoom in. So as the clip's going along, it's snowing. And you might be able to notice, look, it should be gradually zooming in. So that just gives this feel of, you know, that's the original, and then it slowly zooms in. And you could fade that in with, using a transition with some cool sound. See, so you know what I mean? You're using all the different elements. And you might think, oh, maybe I need loads of tracks. You really don't. I mean, a lot of programs have about 100 tracks. The professional ones have pretty much unlimited. Um, but to be honest, even when I've been making films, you probably don't need any more than six or seven different tracks. When you think your original video, maybe an effects, uh, maybe you've got some undertone creepy music if you're doing a creepy scene. Um, and then sort of, you know, you might have some sound effects, maybe some flashings of lightning that you've just sort of creeped on. Uh, yeah, and that's really cool as well. Uh, so uh, another uh, little effect that you might want to use if you're doing a dream sequence or someone's woke up, you might want them to wake up um, blurred. And let's see if this works. 
No, it's not going to work. <laughs> hey, my live TV, it doesn't want to do it. Improving your audio. Hey, I'm going to give. Why is that not working then? Hey, I'm going to give you two. Okay, it's not allowing that for some reason. Hey, I'm going to give you two tips. So yeah, that's a cool little transition. A cool hey, little transition. But that's supposed to apply. I don't know why it's not doing that. Um, I would hey, have to mess around a bit longer. Tips. But you know, one thing you can do, you could blur the video. I know you can do that. It's just not doing it. <laughs> you know, because I want to show you it. And another cool thing that you might like is uh, what's called keying um, using green screen. And this is another effect that you might want to use. So um, I don't have any loosely on me at the minute. But say if you've got some green screen, you would have the green behind you. So see where this black is, that would be green. It's easy to do, just get some green material. The easy way to do it maybe is maybe buy a bed cover that's all green or blue. And you go into your green screen or blue screen effects on most of your programs. You literally just click the green and then that will go like invisible. And then what you do is you add in another video clip underneath or above depending on the program and then that becomes the background a bit like in a uh, video I made ages ago which was called landing on Mars and I, I added some wind effect was like and and <laughs> it was sort of um, you could probably find it on the channel somewhere and then I, I put some like desert in the background and it just looked like I was landing on Mars I made me like transition I was just messing about really uh, but it just shows you what you can do just by adding cool effects and again you know you don't have to go over the top sometimes I find when I've tried to be too clever it's ended up looking quite naff and when I've tried to just be simplistic and just keep it basic it sometimes looks more professional and sometimes just looks better and um, you know without having budget of you know millions of pounds it's sometimes quite difficult to make stuff look good um, so it's just little cheats like that and things you can do to apply to that. One little thing I would show you actually is speed, as silly as that sound, and you can add speed to this. So say, uh, let's go into this clip, we could speed it up. You might want to speed it up. It's, it's been annoying now, I don't know why it's doing that. Right, sorry, let's go into another clip and we just click on speed. And you might think, why would you want to do that? So one thing I would say is look at this thing about speed, so you can you can do that quite easily. <laughs> so you know, getting rid of the audio, because that's yeah, I don't know, you might want that, it might be it might be funny, but it, it's quite cool. So say if you want to um one cool little thing effect, a simple effect, is just speeding up the video, getting rid of the, the audio, maybe putting some music underneath it. And again, that's would be a good way of passing time, you know, if you want to show somebody, I don't know, setting up a you building a car or computer or, or whatever you're, you're doing, you could just speed up the, the effect here with a bit of nice funky music, so maybe you've made it or whatever. And that would again would just show another pattern. And that's just a really simple effect that just looks really cool. And you know, and it just looks easy and it, it looks quite professional as well. And doesn't require, you know, like millions of dollars and it doesn't look cheesy either. It looks quite cool, you know, especially if you use, pick the right music and sort of bear all that in mind. Um, and I'll, again, you can slow it down, so you'll be like, no, you know, all this sort of thing. And I'll just recommend briefly, if you are slowing down clips, record in a higher frame rate, because that will make it better in post. A bit like I was saying the audio before, you know, if you can record with a good microphone anyway, you don't need to mess around and post and make it sound better. If you can record in higher frame rates, you can slow down clips better, giving you higher quality, and it makes it easier for the program. So say, for example, we slow this up you'll get this sort of slow motion you know and you know me close up there it, it doesn't really show too much but it, it you know if you were maybe i know slowly falling over or showing the scene of someone dying or you know whatever you know that might be a good way with maybe a bit of music and or it could even be a dream sequence you know what i mean so again a very simple effect but probably looks much more professional than trying to be too clever with like After Effects and stuff like that, which can ultimately just look cheesy. So anyway, so I hope this video gave you value. I hope you got some learn a bit from it. Um, thank you again so much for watching. Check out the end cards for more videos within this series and with on the channel. Obviously, again, on, within the description. Check out our Twitter feed at any point to find out what projects and what's going on here at TBR Creators. Thank you so much again for watching. 
And you know, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again for watching this series. Feel free to watch as many times as you want. Have a great day, great week, whatever you're doing. And guess what? You guys always rock.